Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. You Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my vlog. I'm filming this on Saturday or. <laughs> Sunday, July 3rd, wearing eye masks. I just got my nails done because I'm going to Paris tonight, more on that soon, and drinking my coffee. I've been a little bit of a negligent vlogger over the past three weeks, but I finally feel like I'm ready to come back into it. Just when I'm like filming and shooting so much content and doing so much for work, it can feel so exhausting to also like vlog everything I do in my personal life and like in my social life. I finally feel like refreshed enough to get back into it, so thank you for your patience. But before I took a break, I was filming and I've never shared that footage from that week. So what you're about to see is the week of June, I think I start June 7th and it's like June 8th, June 9th. And what's really funny about it is that I was starting to do the 5 a.m. club and it didn't go very well. So you'll see all of that, we'll explain more. And then I'll give you some insight on why I'm going to Paris. Okay, here we go. Hello you guys, welcome back to my vlog. So weird, in the reflection it looks like there is something on the table, but it's not there. The simulation. <laughs> Just to like get right into it and be totally candid, I have been having like a little bit in that an identity crisis because the feelings that I have around my music songwriting in general, I just feel more aligned and grounded than ever in that. And it's so different. If you guys remember at the beginning of this year, when I first unpacked this piano right here and started singing again for the first time, like it was, it felt very foreign to me. It felt like reconnecting with something from so, so long ago that I only had a sliver of left um, in my psyche. And now it feels like it is front and center, fundamental to who I am. And so it's kind of scary to feel myself changing that much and my priorities changing that much. But I guess that's part of the cool thing about like growing up and growing into yourself and we're supposed to change and grow and all of the above. But I've just kind of been like taking time for myself and working through a lot of the emotions there, doing some EFT tapping, of course, all the usual things. But for this vlog, I want to get back into... I don't really know if I want to call it the 5 a.m. club, but I will say tomorrow is going to be the 4 a.m. club because I am going to a sunrise picnic at the Empire State Building. I'm so excited. I'm obsessed with the Empire State Building, literally. It was built the same year that my granddad was born, and it's always just been so iconic to me. Every time I can see like a view of it, I squeal. It's like the best. I went and I toured it back in December um, during Vlogmas actually. And so I have a whole video about that. I'll link it up here. And it'll just be so fun to go for like a fun summer activity. So Ankita's gonna go with me. It starts at 5 a.m. because the sun rises at 5.30. So I'm gonna be waking up at like 4 a.m. but it's gonna be so fun to go. I just I just said it's gonna be so fun like 10 times. So you can tell that I really think it's gonna be fun. And then I've also decided like with all the changes with music and how much I'm bringing that front and center into my life that I want my time to reflect that. So I have actually booked a four hour session in the studio, Make Life Studio, for every single week of this upcoming month. So the first four hour session is gonna be this Thursday. I'm going in to record an acoustic version of Worth the Flight, which I'm really excited about. I want it to be like slightly different, but still like obviously the same song. And then I'm going to be recording my new song called Anymore probably next week. I just shared Anymore for the first time on Instagram last night. And of all the songs I've shared, Anymore definitely has the strongest emotional response. Like people really resonate with it. And it's really one of my favorite songs that I have ever written. I mean, I say ever written, like I've written 75,000 songs. <laughs> I've written like what, 11 songs now. It's definitely a really special one. And so I was gonna record the song called Grey, which you guys heard me singing um, the demo for like three vlogs ago but anymore is coming in first. So I'll actually show it to you guys if you want, even if you probably see that on my Instagram. I have been using my keyboard a lot lately. It's where I've been writing my songs like almost exclusively. I used to always write it on the guitar, but it's been different lately. I'm gonna play the first verse and the chorus of anymore. Ice blue water, you pull me under. And I can't pretend I can breathe You walk right through me I thought you knew me 
but with you it is never as it seems and I don't want to chase you anymore yeah At your door. So that was kind of like a rough take, but I'm trying to just be more confident about what I put out there. Otherwise, I will just keep <laughs> doing like 75 takes of it. That's the first verse and the chorus. I'm so excited to share it. And I've been writing a lot more songs, so I think that's probably going to be a more central part of the vlog moving forward, just like sharing the songs that I've been writing, because I have been a little writing machine. Oh, I almost turned on like a drum thing on the piano. No? Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> I'm about to go meet Alyssa for dinner and come home and try to go to sleep as early as possible for that 4 a.m. wake up. Woo! Um, I'll say right now, 4 a.m. was a jump. <laughs> 5 a.m. club is very different from 4 a.m. club. I literally I just woke up. You can hear it in my voice. Whoa. Done getting ready. It's so weird. The sky looks like it's already. Maybe it's just the light. She's tripping. She needs more coffee. Props to um, Ankita for doing this with me because this is this is no minor feat. almost 9 30 i'm about to head into my first coaching call of the day i have three today which kind of x games mode after waking up so early i definitely am tired but i feel really good i just i feel the same way i feel every time i start waking up early like the whole the whole day is my oyster instead of the world is my oyster it's the whole day and i guess the whole world it was super fun it was cloudier than it could have been <laughs> so i didn't really get to see the sunrise but i just think like there's nothing better than Waking up early, having like a fun plan you can look forward to, being out and about with people, doing like fun things that shake up your routine. It really makes a difference energetically. And now I'm just going into today feeling really good. So I'll probably need a coffee here soon, but so far going strong. Okay, hi guys. Um, I like haven't vlogged all day because I've had the craziest day ever, but I'm coming on to update you that the secret, I guarantee it, the secret to starting out the 5am club or waking up earlier again, I think we know this, it's kind of common sense, but it is to wake up extremely early one morning, such as me this morning with 4am, and then do not nap the entire day. I did not nap. I act, I laid down and like took a phone call laying down in bed. But other than that, I had like a very, very productive, busy day. Usually I would not give myself that. How would I describe this? I'm very tired, so favor with me. Usually I wouldn't give myself that much of an intense day. I didn't need to. I just had a lot of calls today, but it feels very divinely orchestrated. Like the fact that the event was this morning and 
that I had all those calls and so there wasn't really a second for me to like slow down and even think about a nap or like that much rest while also taking care of myself and now it's 9 p.m. I am so tired there's no way I could even like try to convince myself to lay in bed and watch Netflix like I'm so tired I'm gonna fall asleep in 0.3 seconds once my head hits the pillow speaking of head hitting the pillow let me put on my self tanning water first oh god I don't I never know if I'm putting this in the right direction <laughs> Okay, I was like extremely into I'm sure you guys saw the force of that coming right out of there. Wow <laughs> But I know that I'm gonna fall asleep so easily and so waking up at 5 a.m. Tomorrow is gonna be an absolute breeze Because I'm in the best possible position. So I'm really proud of myself and was today hard at times totally But it was also really fun And now my new schedule is imminent. Let's make these stuff your eyes. So it was not the best start to the 5 a.m. club. My throat is super, super, super sore. I was fighting off a head cold earlier this week and it's not COVID, I took two tests. But it was feeling a lot better and then I think like waking up really early yesterday and then going really hard all day when I wasn't totally better like didn't help and when I went to sleep last night it felt like my mind was very, very, very awake even though my body was really tired. So God, you can kind of hear it in my voice. I'm recording in the studio today. I'm recording the acoustic version of Worth a Flight. So when my alarm went off at five, first of all, I didn't feel like it because it's super cloudy out and usually like the sun is huge and waking me up. And second of all, I just felt like not very, not very good. <laughs> I didn't feel good and I was like, man, I really need to get some rest. So I allowed myself to like sleep for another hour, which I really think is super important if you're Settling into the 5 a.m. club like I don't want to be miserable all day and like run my body ragged I'm like obviously a little bit disappointed because I was super excited to like wake up early and have the sun streaming in And I just had like the vision in my head of like the 5 a.m. club when I first started it but rubber meets the road and I'm still proud of myself for like getting up still pretty early, you know six I've been waking up at like 7 7 38 for a long time. So whatever an extra hour will do me good and I'll try again tomorrow. For right now, I'm gonna make the most of this early morning, um, make coffee, meditate, which I haven't done in a while, see how I feel. Sometimes I feel better after it's been like an hour into the day, and then maybe do a little ride on the Peloton, which I haven't done in a while, and then I have some work to get done. So let's do it. on the peloton i'm wearing this cute new lululemon top and biker shorts whenever i put on a cute workout outfit i always want to wear it like all day but i have to dress cute for the studio today <laughs> Woo! 20 minute ride done baby <laughs> okay i am off to the recording studio to record the acoustic version of worth a flight i'm a little concerned because my um Head cold is definitely still in the picture, but I'm wearing cute pants, so you know that should help with morale in the studio, feeling fancy and glamorous. And I have this nasal spray that I keep using. It's called X Clear or X Lear. It was like super recommended, so I've just been doing that a few times. I'm gonna bring my throat spray and lots of water, and it should be fine. I like I don't hear it in my voice as much. I did a ton of vocal warm ups, and I think that helped too. So very excited. Let's go. I just got home from dinner and from the studio. I'm watching the sunset. Not the prettiest sunset in the world, but always gorgeous to see, especially as the sun sets on, <laughs> not to quote my own song, 
and as the sun sets but as the sun sets on a really amazing day in the studio i didn't film while i was in there i was so in the flow i only even had my phone in the booth with me for a little bit i was there for four and a half hours and we didn't even finish the recording of the worth of light acoustic version i'm so obsessed with the direction it's heading in i thought this was gonna be like a really simple recording but i'm changing up a lot of like the melodies and kind of like the feel of the song which has been so fun and i was just really trying to get my voice perfect i definitely feel like i need to go really easy on myself because the head cold that i was fighting off and i really felt like i was over it like yesterday and the day before it feels like it's coming back like it wasn't fully gone and then me not getting enough rest me being in this like go 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 mindset has not been good so um i don't know about the 5 a.m plan for tomorrow i think i'm just gonna naturally allow myself to wake up i think rest is just so so necessary and i have another really busy day tomorrow but a wild phenomenon truly that i noticed last time i did the 5 a.m club is that when you wake up early and start your day very focused and doing all the things you know you need to get done and just like being up before the rest of the world and being in that high speed before the rest of the world is awake the days fly by. They fly by. You, you think like all that extra time makes it so that the day would kind of take its, take its time getting by, but it flies by so busy, so like productive and definitely a different type of productive since I was in the studio all day and I'm not used to that. I'm like super behind on filming TikToks and stuff that I usually do, but yesterday and today it's like been a super high power at every i do i did kind of miss that for the 5am club before so i want to be able to still have like the energy and the space for that and i'm gonna have a busy day tomorrow so off to sleep early tonight we'll see what happens in the morning but just feeling really happy after being in the studio um and i'm really excited because i'm gonna go back next friday to finish what we started today we only have a little bit of the song left to record and then I'm going to start recording anymore, which is the song I'm obsessed with. I cannot wait. Okay. Good night. I was just somebody Longing for someone To hold me It could be anybody But you chose me somehow Now I chaos right now and trying to edit this vlog to get it out since I haven't put anything out but I hope you enjoyed seeing that week of my life turns out it was a very big one and as I was going on and on about worth of light acoustic all I'm saying is last night I was in the studio and we were putting the final touches on the production of worth of light acoustic and it is like it is so I just cannot freaking wait I cannot wait keep your eye out for August speaking of worth of light acoustic that's actually why I'm going to Paris. I can't really say any more, except if you've heard Where's the Flight, the main song, it'll make some sense. I'm going there for work, for a creative vision, and I'm very excited about it. I'm just going for three nights. The flight is tonight. I just have to finish packing. I need to get some TikToks done. I feel like there's a lot up in the air, but in the very best way, I'm feeling really grateful, excited, and full-hearted. And thank you guys for all of the support. Okay, see you next week. <laughs>